Hello, Hogzilla here again for part 9 of Overcrowd, a commute em up game, Network Sandbox. So previously we went through zones 2 through 5 and we're up to our zone 1 map. We got a little spend happy here in um, the beginning, but um, offline... Um, in my other network sandbox, I've been working on some stuff to see if there's a better way um, to position stuff on the map. And one of the things that I uh, found out is that the turnstiles, so the turnstiles down here, um, I was always putting them near the track and then having all the commerce items over here on the the non-track side. Well, I found out that if you uh, put the turnstiles closer to the entrance or, or wherever and and then have all the commerce on the other side, it works just the same. Uh, that allowed me, at least on the maps I was working on, to at least um, position stuff a little better. And I think actually here, uh, this will work out a lot better if I take and move uh, my turnstiles to up here and then i'm gonna have entrances over here elevators or stairs or uh escalators here and then they're gonna come in there and then we don't have to worry about trying to block out all we got to do is block out just enough room for three tiles to wrap around the corner here um So I think that's what we'll do for this map. Um, I'm just looking here. What else I might need to do down the road now. That kind of have that sorted away. So what I think I'm going to try doing here is... I'm going to try moving these up to here. I don't know if I have enough money really to... move the escalators just yet. I'm just looking here too. Um, how is this track going to work? I'm probably going to have this make this a six across or as close as I can to a six across as possible. Another benefit of doing it this way where you have uh, the uh, turn styles by the exits is I, um, I had a map where you had items on one side then you had tracks in the middle and then you had entrances on the other side and there's no way to kind of like cross all those tracks um so by putting turnstiles and letting the tracks be in the middle um that worked out a lot better for me um i'm just gonna wait till the end of the night and then i'm gonna um Then I will uh, go ahead and move the turnstiles. Uh, in the meantime, we need uh, we need another bin. Let's see here. We have we have uh, increase in technology. We can do a six carriage train. Let's do stock three. Let's get that done right after this train gets out of there. We got platform five, map three. Lighting three, which is something we need. Bin three, which is what we need. So let's get bin three in. And let's get some lighting. Can we sell this lighting here? Lighting. Uh, there'll be a bigger radius and it'll use less power. So that's why I'm selling off all my lighting here. We'll just put it here, here, and here. I'm just seeing what else I can kind of 
put in right now. I could put in a map, but let's get that stock turned over to stock three. As you can see here, uh, I really haven't focused on that in any of the other videos um, where you could see how what the speed is. It's uh, pretty high at stock three. The capacity is uh, the highest. Uh, the power usage you could see goes on this is like what i was saying on staff and thresholds how this is real goofy and i forgot to set these up so it's a good thing i brought this up but how this one here you've got to set it at one while well, you set the max on the others this should almost be um worded like empty bins when contents are um I don't know, you want to say below? It, 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 this just needs to be, um, or like, do not empty bins until above, or something like that, <clears throat> or rework the rest of them. It's just kind of weird, and this is another case right here where the power level goes down, so you almost think that if you look at it real quick, that... Um, it's actually better to have stock one. No, it's actually better to have stock three. I'm saving power this way. And then reliability prevents a breakdown. So let's go ahead and... Uh, do I need to buy anything else here? Um... So now I can handle 18 people. Like a part of me almost wants to make these the six lines and then these can be like little short ones or twos this would probably be ones and twos and then this would be another six line and this would be a six line this line might be the line that gets sacrificed We're just waiting here for the end of the day so I can then rip up the escalators. Um, I'm going to move this out and put the uh, turnstiles up there. And then I'll have all this room down here to, um, to open up for more commerce. got a little bit more to go here i'm not even going to call the train in it'll be a waste of time and it's the end of the evening uh let's go ahead and just let everybody get out i'm gonna let my staff member do what he needs to do um in the meantime i'm gonna look at what else i can buy i can buy the substation four which is um, I'll try and convert at the earliest convenience and the wheelie bin. Um, let's save the bonds on that. Uh, are there any more tools? No. Food? Yeah, there is, but I don't want to waste it just yet. Amenities? I need the arcade machine. Let's see, water cooler, staff vending, medicine. I can't afford the arcade machine anyway. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have enough to make this work right now. Um, I'm just looking here to see how much escalator is 400 but let's go ahead and move this out I'm just seeing what I need to do here um, we need to sell this turnstile 
And then we want to build the escalators here. I'm just trying to, I, I really overbuilt over here. That's part of my problem right now is I really overbuilt. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out what I need to, whoop. There, I have just enough for the escalator. So, trying to figure out why it will not let me. I don't know if it's because there's something. Um. What else can we get rid of here? I don't know why it's having issues here. Is it because I need one more? Bet you that's it. Okay, so I have just enough there. I need fencing though. So now we need to sell off a little bit more here. I'm sure I'll look back at this and laugh that I'm trying to really pinch pennies here. But okay, so now I'll have all this room down here for um, for commerce and up into here. I'm just gonna let my staff member here uh, pick up the litter. Or else I'd probably just skip ahead. I don't know. I feel like I probably regret here. Uh, I built way too much over here. I mean, uh, I'll eventually, this will pay off. Or this should pay off eventually. Um, I might even end up having to move it to build this last track because I see it's right above this track here. So, um, let's just get uh, going for the next day here. Um, get our next train in here. And now, uh, hopefully, my staff member saw that. And they did not. I just want to open this up a little bit. How much do I need here? I got enough there. I'm just seeing here, this might actually be okay to sell. And then open this up a little bit. So now what I wanna do is, uh, how much is the, Automator is 400. 
I mean, I'm probably going to end up having to move all this to this corner up here when it's all said and done. But in the meantime, uh, we'll just see what we can make of this. I'm just... Hmm. So, uh, we have enough power. We have plenty of power. But though I still want to convert over these to a uh, substation. And the key with the substation is that you never run out of fuel because it's connected right to the national grid, which is why I like them. Uh, let's see here. And they're like seven, so I only need one. I think we're going to do that conversion right now. Yep, so we have enough power, we got a little more money. So let's go ahead and put in our crisps machine, drink machine. I don't have enough for anything else. I'm just gonna let the automator pick that up. Yeah, I really made a mess of myself here to, to build. I should never have built uh, utilities and tools that large. I was trying to plan way, way ahead, which you should not do. You should always anticipate that you're going to have to move stuff at least once. So we can put in our fruit and veg stand. Our cash machine, we can almost afford, but I'm going to let the uh, end of the day run out here. Yeah, just a lot of complaints right now. I'm running the station very poorly. Um... What happened? Did I accidentally sell my trash bin? It looks like I accidentally sold my trash bin. Um, so we're gonna have to get that back. We definitely need the trash bin. Where's our worker? Oh, he's resting. Um, hopefully he gets a little work in. This is where if I had the arcade machine, I think that would really help. Um, but I got to get a trash bin in here, trash bin up here, a map, uh, the indicator boards. I also need to get a proper uh, wheelie bin in there. How much can I get for that wheelie bin? 166. 450 I don't have enough I'm not gonna wheelie bin ain't even being used right now because I sold my trash can for some reason so actually we got to we should need to do that and then when we have enough money Okay, we got enough for a trash bin. So now I'm just going to look to see what other commerce items I can add, or maybe I'll add the map right now. Um, I might add another trash bin up here. Um, I'm going to look at the wheelie bin next because um, this can hold a, a lot of uh, litter. But it's 450. Might go for a little more commerce. Let's see if I can. Newspaper ad, crisps ad, uh, drink ad. 
fruit and veg ad. See if we can get some additional money in here. Cash machine. We just need to get a foam box in here, and then we can start kind of putting in the next level stuff with the coffee cart. I'm going to try and get that coffee cart in here because that you can get like $10 a coffee, 10 euros or pounds. Another thing I might try and get in here is actually the arcade machine just because that will get the people in and out of this break room a lot quicker. And when I'm trying to run this uh, place like on a shoestring budget with one person, uh, that's a huge benefit. Now I'm going to look at a map next. I can obviously get a map up here. But I need to get stuff down here. There's people with question marks above their head. They're lost. But I just can't afford it. So, uh, we almost have enough for a map here. I'm just debating, do I wait? I'll put the map in now. The next thing we're going to probably want to work on for the next day is get a wee, uh, level 3 wheelie bin in. Uh, this is actually going a lot slower than I expected. I was hoping the uh, money would be coming in a little quicker than it is. I mean, I could really push some money through by connecting up these entrances. So, um, we have enough power. Let's go ahead and... Get our ATM ad and our phone box ad in. Now we'll let our worker uh, run around here. Hopefully in the next part I should really start uh, making some money and I can really start uh, laying out the commerce and additional tracks. I'm just wondering if I want to push this to a six car platform right now. Because that would also bring in a lot of people. Um, I'll need a little bit of money to do that. But um, then you have those people going uh, through the turnstiles at uh, 10 pounds. And um, that increases uh, the, the how quick you bring in the profit. So let's see here. Uh, he's got a lot of cleaning up to do here. Um, a lot of litter to pick up and clear out. I want to get that wheelie bin, though. I'm really debating if I want to put another, like, wheelie bin up here and move this map somewhere. Like, move that here. This would go here. Okay, uh, next day has started. Do we even have a mop? Yeah, we got a mop. I'm just debating, do I yeah, want to put in a... 
a wheelie bin up there or put it somewhere down in the uh, bottom commerce area but let's go ahead and move this over and get ready to buy our level 3 wheelie bin okay we got our level 3 wheelie bin in Oh, it's got litter in it, so we can't sell it just yet to level two. Oh, that's sold off the... We better get this put in quick before... People start hitching a free ride and we don't get paid. Um, so let's go ahead and put our map back in. And then start looking at a uh, level three wheelie bin up here. Um, money's just not coming in as quick as I want. I'm gonna look at the coffee cart actually next. Let's see here. Coffee cart. Okay, we got the coffee cart in. How are we doing on power? We're really close on power. Uh, what's the next uh, flower stall? We can put in the flower stall. Now we're going to have to build a little bit ahead here to um, be able to put in the rest of the commerce. Or we should start looking, well, what would it take to get a, a four, a four or five or six the station stall in here. Let's just uh, pause the game for a second. So to get six, we'd have to be right there. And it'd be about 1,800 to get that far. So let's go ahead and expand a little bit. Can we afford to put in the hot dog stall yet? Hot dog stall is Four hundred, so we'll do that. I'm just trying to see here. Um, if I can move some stuff. Because I need one more, I think. So I can put the kiosk in. I'm getting a little more money. I can tell I'm making a little bit more uh, uh, money. More money. We should get a little more when we sell off the, the level 2 wheelie bin. Okay, uh, we're at the end of the day. We'll just let our person repair everything. Um, so I think that's actually where we're going to leave off, uh, part nine of overcrowd, uh, network sandbox. I think in part 10, we should be able to, uh, expand a little quicker with, um, and add some entrances. I'm thinking of adding entrances, um, after I've expanded the track. Uh, but we'll see what happens in part 10. Um, if you like what you've seen in this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you have a question or comment on the gameplay, um, then leave a note below and please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next part. Bye.